Today we're gonna talk about one image that we, one photo that we shoot in the studio, uh, and it was for our portfolio. We did a big setting, and I will show you here a quick behind the scenes video that we had. <clears throat> As you can see here, I will stop to explain the interesting things. So here is our setting that it was like around four meters by seven meters here and we fill it up with water and we can see our talent Ralinsa which is a very famous actress and model here in Indonesia. If you can see this from this behind the scenes we have a couple of interesting lightings. Inside this lamp, in here, we have placed a bulb which fires a strong flash. Every time it, it goes, it gets triggered by the cell. So whenever a flash comes up, this flash inside the light, boom, blows. So <clears throat> by placing a light here, it will give us the entire ambient of the set. And Behind the windows, <coughs> we have placed another light with CTO. CTO is a filter that uh, uh, changes the color balance of our lighting. Our lighting, we were using brown color Scorro. The color balance is around 5,600 Kelvin. When we put a CTO, it's called an uh, orange filter, it will turn the light more warmer, maybe to 3600, which is, let's say, the color temperature of a sunset. So behind this window, we have placed one light uh, with this CTO that it will bring us the feeling as the sun. This is during the shooting. Yeah, for the talent, we've placed one light with honeycomb, just the standard reflector with the honeycomb that we can direct the light. In these cases, when I want to do a little bit of dramatic light, what I do is trying to direct all the lights because it's very easy when we're working in a studio that we put one light and that light is gonna bunch everywhere and will fill all the, all the studio with light and it will be like a very soft light, like in here, without contrast. So that's why in the standard reflector we put a honeycomb and goes direct to her face. So from here you can see that I'm using this stereo phone, this white stereo phone that is taking the light from that window, that flash light red that is giving a, a her light to her is bouncing, bouncing a little bit in this stereo phone, in this stereo phone and is filling her shadows a little bit more and here we have placed another softbox also filtered with a CTO with the orange filter you can see in here is that light that I was talking to you that is filtered with CTO that is bringing a very beautiful highlight on the hair yeah with warm color. This light from here is that softbox that it was in the top of her. This, if you see it in her eye, so <clears throat> we see the that standard reflector with the honeycomb straight to the eye and is just lighting uh, her face and is creating little shadows because it's direct to her nose. So the lighting coming straight. It's like if I, you will not see. But if I look straight to the light, it will not create any shadows in the face. And then around the environment, to create the environment, I wanted to play with different color balance. Warm in the center, with this our light in the lamp, the background, and I wanted to create bluish at the side. So we will have this interest, interesting mix of warm and cold light. You can see around here is blue stone. We modify a little bit the photo. I always like to make it very neutral. So I already have 
the colors, bluish at the side, warm, but from cup to one I keep it very neutral and very natural and then in Photoshop is where we will do all uh, the colors and the contrast. So here in Photoshop <coughs> I have the frame that we were looking before which it was kind of like this one, something like this I believe. Yeah. And then as our setting was quite good, I wanted to do a panoramic feeling much more cinematographic and pretty. So what I did is just pan the camera to the left and to the right and take the stock shots of the side. So yeah, this is our photo. And then what I do is <coughs> grab the other files that in Capture One I process them uh, with the same settings and I add the image in the left and in the right. So we have our entire panoramic looking. So I'm gonna close this one, save, and <clears throat> we grab the photo that we had before. I put a little bit more contrast, and from here I will explain you all these layers. So this is the final, and this is the raw kind of like the raw image. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start first with this layer that we have here, the light on Rally, on our main talent. As you can see, when I select, I never select detailing with this tool. I never use this tool. I just use quick mask. Quick mask. And from here I always select like this usually with big brass like that and I select quite quite big like that. So we give the contrast to her with this layer we darken around the areas so we focus on Raleen we darken a little bit in the left in here and these layers here we have we give the bluish tone and more natural warm light on her a little bit more bluish tick the final bluish keeping the warm on her and this layer selective color that I believe I just add some blacks in the red and in the yellows probably and then I give a little bit, you will see, with this silver FX Pro what I give is a little bit of texture on the entire photo, structure is called. And then a little bit more toning, finalize the toning. And then these other layers that I have here is to emphasize the contrast and the direction of the light. So my main goal is uh, make that the all the entire image is lighted by the light in the window from here that is touching on her. So these last layers are to emphasize that which is about contrast all of them. For me I like it quite dark at the sides to concentrate all the light and all the attention on her but all that we can reduce with one like if we take this layer out it will be more soft so guys this is uh, our uh, video video blog from sub image if you like this information that we give you from the starting of our shooting until how it looks the final image uh, please keep watching us subscribe like check us in instagram to show you how we work and maybe inspire you guys and you can do new good things. And from Sat, we say bye bye to you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> and Imam. Imam bye. is very focused. <laughs> bye Imam. <laughs> See you guys. Subscribe. Sat. <laughs>